Okay, now we're going to turn over to another one of our key sponsors today. It's really been great to bring on Noram. They're a critical supplier um, to many sectors, including mining. And uh, yesterday we learned about their Cellchem Sulfur Burner, which has a lower footprint and have, can have some really strong applications in the mining industry. Now, Noram's been around since the 1980s. They have a big global reputation for innovation and excellence, and providing proprietary engineering <clears throat> for mineral pro processing, wastewater, electrochemical sectors, amongst others. Um, today, we so I mentioned we had the Cellchem Sulfur Burner uh, yesterday. Today, we're going to be joined by Jean-Francois, who is a senior project manager in business development. He'll be talking um, about lithium, and Norum has a hydroxide technology that is going to have applications in the, uh, in the lithium space. Jean-Francois, thank you for joining us. We'll get you to turn off your mute and turn on your camera. Oh, okay. So... Uh, welcome everybody. I'm very happy to be uh, here with you uh, today. Um, I'm going to introduce you this uh, new uh, technology from Naram uh, to solve an issue uh, um, uh, for the mining industry. So this new technology name is NORSCAN. So uh, basically we can see this technology as uh, allowing you to, um, uh, to do circular economy in your plant. I will explain you uh, why. So basically, as you mentioned, um, uh, Anthony, uh, Naram is a privately owned company uh, based in Vancouver um, with about uh, 200 employees and providing uh, technologies for the, the mining industry. Uh, as, as is one of, of the, uh, in the, one of the technology in the portfolio, one of the industry we are uh, providing, supplying equipment is, is the mining industry. So, um, um, so, um, do you see my, uh, my presentation now? We don't see it yet, but luckily we have the amazing Laura Daly, our event producer that can assist in these things. <laughs> uh, do you see the screen button at the bottom? Oh, the share okay. screen, share screen button at the bottom. Yeah. And then you should be able to see the file that you want to share. You click on that oh, and then okay. hit the clear, hit the share button after. Oh, okay. Okay. And if not, I can do it for you too, so. No, that's fine. Sorry, I thought you were uh, turning the slide. No, but I could definitely do that for you as well. Do you want me to do okay. that? No, that's fine. So I'm gonna uh, turn the slide, that's fine. Okay, so. Oh, so actually I we said, don't see it yet. Oh. I just wanted to, so if you hit the sh share screen button yeah. and then click on the document you'd like to share and then hit the share button should work and if not i have it lined up here perfect look it looks like it's going all right no you don't see. apologize Sorry. and then if you yeah if you just go to the slideshow uh play button you should be fine do you see slideshow at the top of the powerpoint there we go you're okay. good to rock so you see that from my full screen oh, okay so I'm gonna talk to you about the NordScan electrolyzer, which is uh, as a, a, I think a bright future in the, in the, for the mining industry. Um, so as I mentioned, I think Anthony, you already have introduced Naram. So basically uh, the mining industry is facing a, a new challenge in, in regards to the, uh, the environmental regulation, uh, which is the, which I call the sodium uh, challenge. Uh, sodium sulfate is a major environmental issue uh, regarding uh, in the the um, uh, the cost and the uh, in the environment problem. Um, so uh, many processes like the lithium hydroxide and lithium carbonate, uh, the hydromet processes for the making of high purity nickel sulfate and cobalt sulfate, uh, the process for the making of precursor of high nickel cathode active material and the uh, sulfate-based hydromet processes for the uh, recycling of the lithium-ion battery uh, are uh, mainly, they are all mainly sulfate-based and they lead to significant amount of uh, sodium sulfate byproduct. And, and, the, and what we see at the moment is that this sodium sulfate 
is basically uh, exported to uh, South America or other countries. Uh, so there is a, there is there is a, a, a cost to that, and uh, there is basically no margin in, in the making of, 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 of sodium sulfate at the moment. And uh, in the next years, with all those um, new business uh, entering the lithium-ion battery uh, market. Uh, we will see the offer uh, exceeding the demand for, for sodium sulfate. Uh, so a, as example of processes, uh, we have this uh, old uh, lithium carbonate process using soda ash and producing sodium sulfate. We have this more recent processes uh, using sodium hydroxide and also for the making of lithium hydroxide, producing a lot of sodium sulfate. And all those uh, solvent extraction processes uh, for the making of uh, nickel and cobalt, so high purity nickel and cobalt sulfate, uh, are, are producing significant amount of of, of, of sodium sulfate global salt. So <laughs> this is and uh, so if you are in the mining industry and you produce those salt for the lithium ion battery, so not only you but also your client is going to produce significant amount of, of sodium sulfate. So for the making of those nice spherical uh, precursor of cathode active material, uh, a lot of, uh, of, uh, of uh, high purity nickel, cobalt, manganese sulfate are used to be neutralized with sodium hydroxide and produce uh, a lot of, of sodium sulfate. So it's also a new issue, not only for the mining industry, but for, your, for the clients of the mining industry, it is also an issue at, at, at the moment. So, what we're offering at NORAM is, is, is basically is a membrane electrolysis technology named NORSCAN. So what it, it, it does, it, it takes uh, sodium sulfate and it split, it's a salt splitting technology. So it split the sodium sulfate into uh, sodium hydroxide and uh, sulfuric acid. And uh, so it's a membrane electrolysis technology. So on top of that, you also produce hydrogen and oxygen, which can be reused as byproduct in the plant for for calcination or uh, in the boilers for hydrogen can be reused or in the boilers or you can sell it on the market. So this is a unique technology uh, which is uh, jointly manufactured by Naram and a Swedish company named Permascan. Uh, and Permascan is by going IPO in the next uh, in the next weeks. They announced that uh, earlier this week. So, um, so NARAM, NORSCAN plants are compact, modular, and uh, are designed to, to bolt on the, to existing operation and run with minimal operators interven uh, intervention to reduce effluent and emission. Uh, so, so why cell splitting technology? Why it's interesting to, uh, to look at doing circular economy instead of uh, uh, of uh, processing, uh, dehydrating, and, and landfilling, or transporting over South America the the the, the, the sodium sulfate, is the uh, the what we observed recently in the, in the past, let's say one or two years, is that the increasing cost of, of sodium hydroxide, the low cost of uh, electric power, uh, and the cost of processing anhydrous sodium sulfate. And uh, the advancements, the advancements we realize in, uh, with the technology, when we put all of that together, it's, it, they are all uh, important factors uh, which uh, allow us to do uh, to to observe that uh, we now have return on, on of investment in, in, in the order of two to five years in in, in a lot of cases. So. Uh, so what, what is the technology? So the technology is basically, there's two possibility. One is producing uh, high purity uh, sulfuric acid, and the other one is producing at a lower capex, uh, high purity, uh, a mixture of uh, sulfuric acid with few percent of residual sodium hydroxide, uh, sodium sulfate, pardon. Both produce high, very high purity sodium hydroxide. Uh, uh, but it depends on, on your specific application, if the way you can reuse the sulfuric acid in your plant, and uh, and so 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 uh, we have two 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 different contribution, two different technologies, and uh, we do trade off study to and we 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 look at how the the technology can be implemented in your in your current uh, uh, operation. And, and and figure out which one is better in your specific application. So 
One is producing high purity sulfuric acid. The other high purity sulfuric acid with a few percent of residual sodium sulfate. It depends on the specific application. There's a trade-off study to be done to see which one is better in your specific application. So what the technology looks like, it's a, it's a membrane electrolyzer. That's uh, that this this those pictures are uh, at the client site. Uh, in this case, this one was not producing and uh, was not processing sodium sulfate and producing sodium hydroxide, but it was directly producing lithium sulfate into lithium hydroxide. And so if you have a, a, a challenge regarding uh, you want to produce high purity lithium hydroxide or you have a challenge regarding uh, sodium sulfate processing, uh, we can do test work and with your for your specific application we have a large scale at, at our own uh, uh, pilot uh, facility in Vancouver. We have a full scale electrolyzer, uh, the same size and the one you have seen on the previous picture at the, uh, at the client site. So this one uh, is at our uh, pilot facility in Vancouver and we can test uh, the real solution with the full scale electrolyzer at our own uh, facility. So this is what the technology looks like at the at the end in the full full scale uh, commercial plan. So if you have any any need any any challenge or any need to produce high purity lithium hydroxide or any challenge regarding sodium sulfate, uh, I invite you to call us for uh, to discuss uh, your specific application. Jean-Francois, thank you very much. It's really great to get these kind of technical innovations put in front of our audience. How has the market penetration been going on this uh, within the mining industry? Well, it, it, uh, to be honest, it, it, it's, it's not easy because mining industry has huge challenges of financing their projects, okay? Uh, and, uh, and you have on top of that to, 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 to convince that you, there's no extra capex related to, to such technology uh, because you will have to process anyway the sodium sulfate, which has a cost. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, if you can't discharge, discharge it, there is a cost installing global salt crystallizers and everything around that. So it's 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 challenging, but we we're getting there. Excellent, excellent. Well, really great great to uh, have uh, both you. Uh, and Randall yesterday uh, presenting and giving us the, the full detailed explanation of some of the solutions that you guys have for the industry. And we wish you a wonderful rest of 2021. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, John. That's Jean-Francois Magnon. Again, he is the Senior Project Manager in Business Development for NORAM.